What's up, y'all? Got a banger from Cosmic Verse. Let's get straight into it. As a single mom, I know how isolating that can feel. I wouldn't imagine anything because you're not even on a caliber to date a single mother. <laughs> I'd rather play basketball with a porcupine than date a single mom. Shots fired! Keep it a buff. I was good enough to sleep with, I was good enough to hang out with, but I wasn't good enough. Being a mom is the hardest thing in the world. Single mothers are single mothers because of poor selection in the partners they choose. At 25. Let me know in the comments, is being a single mom the hardest job in the world? <laughs> I thought underwater welding and roofing in July was pretty bad, but I guess that might take the cake. <laughs> What's dating like? Unfortunately, don't do it. I think it took me a good few years to actually accept, well, this is it now. Did you know how lonely and isolated women feel? Did you know how lonely? Instead of trying to shame... She can smoke a cigarette in the rain. Shots fired! Shots fired! It's great that schnoz. ...men for their preferences. How about taking accountability? Kindly subscribe to the channel, as it is our sole form of support. Thank you. You never want to date a single mom, dude. What? And marrying a single mom? Well, that's a big L. Well, okay, I'm gonna have to disagree with you there. Of course. Your loss, bro. Uh, unrelated, but when's the last time you went on a date? Five years ago to the day. I can't stop winning. Yeah, sure. Been there, done that, and Bro, won't I, do it again. Is this woman being for real? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, man. You should really go after some single moms. That's where the good stuff is. Combative, older, masculine, ran. She's a runner, she's a track star. Trauma, mileage. That's what you want, dude. You don't want a woman that's young, that can get on your page, that can like follow a program and be submissive and not have kids that you can't really discipline. You you really want a single mom. Those are the high value women. That is absolutely nutty to me. The fact that she thinks <laughs> that a single mom would be higher value than getting a younger woman who can get on a man's page. Bro, you must be out of your mind. For child support or start your own family, be wise. I'm going to cry. I have just realized that I have become a single 30-year-old mom, mom who's driving in a Dodge Caravan <laughs> checking out other men <laughs> while driving in a subdivision, a suburban subdivision. I am a single 30 year old woman yeah. with three yeah. children driving a minivan, checking out other dads. Triple homicide. Shots fired! Mm. Shots fired! Three babies, that's brutal. Okay, this it's is where my life is. I find it really stupid when I see men trying to make it a point that single mother standards are way too high. They but are. wouldn't you think that a good mother or a good woman period would want the best for her children? So you best believe that my standards are going to be through the roof. That's the problem. Is that you think we care about them little snot nosed kids. <laughs> care about those kids those are your kids those are your problems that's like getting into a relationship with somebody and them having a lot of debt and then being like wait don't you care about my debt i don't care we don't give a damn about your debt i care about you i don't care about your debt like bro this makes no sense the logic is flawed at this point my standards are so high i think i'm looking for jesus christ himself if you want to mess with me on that type of level you need to prove to me why you are worthy of my time but yeah she cracked her legs for a man that wasn't even worthy enough to be a husband <laughs> <laughs> but she's just the cream of the crop. <laughs> you are worthy to be in my child's presence on a consistent basis. So if you come into my life, you should be making things easier, not harder. This is beyond laughable. Wow, bro, this your is time absolutely after. wild to me. These these modern women really get out of hand. These single mommies especially. This is why I say as women get older, they they get more entitled. As they get more uh, trauma and more mileage, and they get ran by all these other men and have all these illegitimate kids without fathers in the home. Like they they really do think that their value goes up when the opposite is true. For the single guys, I want your opinion on something. I want to hear your honest thoughts about dating a single mom. Uh, we would never do it. Like I said, rather play basketball with a porcupine. Um, I'd rather kick a rhino's face. Um, that was really random. I don't know. I'd rather play. You know, I'd rather. I'd rather bowl with um, a bowl of yogurt. I don't even know if you can do that. But like, there's so many things I would rather. I'd rather teach a flamingo tap dancing than date a single mom. Asking because one of the guys I dated after my divorce 
said something, and those words have stuck with me. Good. They told me, you have three kids. No one is going to want to take you on. Facts. And let me tell you, no matter how awesome you are, those words stick. But I want to know, what do you really think about that? Does their age matter? Yes. Younger, older? Yes. I mean, it's not like I can change that. We're kind of a package deal. To be honest. And we don't care. That's your problem. <laughs> That's what these women don't understand. Like, that is your problem. You being a package deal is what you think. You think y'all are a package deal. You're not like some supreme deluxe package deal where we're getting like the benefit of three or four things. Honestly, it's at the detriment. The more kids you have, the worse it gets. Because now you're going to put all your kids above your man when you should be putting your partner first. But you can't because you got all these kids. And then now we got to deal with a baby daddy? You kidding me? Let me know in the comments. Would you would you be happy to take on a single mom and have to deal with the baby daddy drama? I'm going to keep it a buck. Almost every, I almost bet you every guy in the comments right now would say, absolutely not. I don't want to deal with a woman that has a lot of drama with her baby daddy. Oh, mom is so damn hard. You are the provider, the disciplinary, the comforter, the teacher, the best friend. You are literally everything all in one. And some days you just feel like you are completely failing at it. Let alone trying to take care of your own self and your own mental health. And it's like days like today where I get called in to go to assembly because my son is getting an award because he is such a good role model and a really kind person and it's just like you did that you are raising a kind happy healthy boy and it's just like i need to remember in moments like this days are hard sleep is rare but you're doing a fucking good job <laughs> single mothers <on> <laughs> I'm sorry, but if you have to tell yourself you're doing a good job, more than likely you're not doing a good job. Dating apps. Should they be even be allowed on there? No. I'm not so sure, because whenever you match with a single mother on a dating app, they always, within five minutes, launch into the same single mother rant, where they yeah. go, my child is my world, and if you want to get to know me, you got to understand that I'm a mother first, and a woman second, and blah, 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 and you're like, whoa, 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 whoa take it easy. I only ask if you want to see a picture of my cock. You know, let's just <laughs> slow things down a little. Yeah, they're always so inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need you to understand what you just said. You know, what he's, the man I chose to marry and make a baby with, because his love language is different than mine, I'm choosing to leave him, and then I want to, I want to level up from him. Yeah, and I... I, I need, no, 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 I need you to listen. Okay. Because you guys often tell yourselves uh, good lies. Okay. Very good lies. And this is also from Kevin Samuels. Single mothers, you don't do better than your baby daddies. That's the ceiling for you now. So if he, if, if your baby daddy wasn't a good guy, and, he, and in your words, he ain't shit, then that's the ceiling for you is ain't shit, guys. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. To a man, I'm hearing a problematic woman. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing a woman who says, I bring something to the table. And the one, almost one of the first things out of your mouth is your career. I just say we don't care about your career or your money because you don't spend it on us. Not everyone's going to admit to this, but I hate being a mom sometimes, most of the time. I want to be selfish. I'm just not going to have a man's baby just to have a man's baby. If a man wants me to have his baby, I have two requirements. You're going to get a tattoo of my face on your body because it's a body for a body. My body's going to change forever. Your body's going to change forever. And my push present is either a car or a house, preferably both. Push present. What in the H-E double hockey sticks is this push pre A push present? This woman has hoops that are touching on her clavicles. <laughs> Do you think you deserve a push present? Your push present is having the child. What happened in those days, man? These modern women are so lost. But I definitely want a tattoo of my face on the father of my child's body, preferably stomach, because my stomach is going to look different after a baby. So mm. your stomach should look different, too. Delusional. Being a mom. It's just a tit for tat thing. I, it, it, it's so toxic in relationships. It's like, well, I did this, you do this, I did this, you do this. And this is why these women stay single is the hardest thing in the world. No. And this is why you're supposed to have a partner. This is why it takes two people to have a baby and not having a partner makes it even harder. I wouldn't imagine anything because you're not even on a caliber to date a single mother. Who's gonna you, tell her? You, 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 you. Did you ever hear a guy saying like, oh, you have a child or, Oh, I don't want nothing to do with they that. We don't have the means to take care of your child because they're broke bums and we don't want those men anyway. Real it. true high value <laughs> they're men. They're alone. 
They're alone. <laughs> You're alone. <laughs> Talking about we can't afford. We're living just fine. We're not losing. Let me know in the comments. Are you guys losing sleep at night knowing there's a single mother out there that you can't take care of? <laughs> Almost bet nobody right now has missed a wink of sleep. And are going to be seeking or not avoiding someone because they're a mother. You need to have a man pay for the babysitter if he wants to take you out. Ladies, set the standard high. Set the standard high, especially since you're a mom. Because it's not uh, just set the you. standard low, especially because you're a mom. The more kids you have, the lower your standard should be. It's about you and your kids. They have to tell themselves things like this. <sighs> Can you imagine waking up and really thinking all these kids that you got, somebody else cares about them? Man, nobody cares about your kids. Those are your kids. That's like your problems. It's like saying, like, hey, why don't you care about my problems? Because they're your problems. What are you talking about? Baby daddy didn't care. Why should the next man? Facts. So for all the women who out here mad because men don't want to date you because you got kids, get over it. Life's tough. It's, it is what it is. You had them, they're your kids. Oh, well. I don't had a man tell me he don't want to talk to me because I'm cool, I'm straight, you know, I love your vibe, whatever, but you have kids and I'm not really thinking it. And I said, okay. And to this day, we cool. Like, I see him, he see me, we talk, we he, he, and we go on about our business. Because at the end of the day, I'm not going to get mad because your personal preference is a woman without kids. What can I do about that? Can't get rid of them kids. Like, so what am I going to do about that? Based. Move on. It is what it is. Like, get over it. Get over it. it. It's plenty of men that's out here that's willing to date women with kids. They are. But you... Who's going to tell her? Who's going to tell her there's not a lot of men out there? <laughs> I'm gonna pin, I'm gonna do on the pin comment. I want everybody to 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 either like it or heart it or comment or something. I'm gonna put the pin comment on this video is gonna be how many of you guys would want to wife up a single mom? I, I and I just want to see what the numbers are. I will say this, and I've said it before. You have to be one hell of a woman. You can't just be a woman with kids and no goals, no ambition. You know, you're fat. You 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 get what I'm saying? Like you can't, you can't, you just can't. The answer's gonna be, they're gonna turn you down every time. You have to be one hell of a woman in order for this man to choose you. Because once again, men choose women. In order for this man to choose you and say, yeah, I'm gonna take a chance with her. I wanna be with her. I love her. And I'm gonna go ahead and accept these kids because why not? You get what I'm saying? Like you, but you have to be one hell of a woman. You can't be around here, no little. Thotty, pie, thotty pocket or a little hood rat or you get what I'm saying? Like, no, no, you got to come. Thotty pocket. I like that. With it. You got to come with it. You want that man to choose you, baby. You got to come with it. Okay. So get over it. It's okay. It ain't the end of the world. I said what I said. I think it's very commendable to date a single mother. If she's in the child's life, obviously she's a responsible <laughs> woman. You didn't choose. <laughs> it's commendable now. It's commendable. <laughs> <laughs> the mental gymnastics, bro. My my mind is doing flips right now. Use this, obviously, because I don't think any woman wants to be a single mother. It shows that you raised a great son to be able to accept a woman for her struggles and what she's going through. I don't know. I would not say it's commendable no, for it's a man to Idiotic. be with a single mom. I think if your son is choosing a single mom, his value is fairly low Facts. in the sexual marketplace, and he probably doesn't have better options. But to be clear, I think in this scenario, right, you got a single mom who, by dating her by default, you're going to take on excess responsibility without the corresponding authority, meaning you can't discipline the kid in certain ways it's not your kid and you have to then listen to her and she takes lead on the parenting aspect which removes your authority as a man so that's very difficult for him to play that role he still has to usually take on the financial responsibilities of caring for that child because he's caring for the mom mm -hmm. he also has to help out with the kid take soccer practice whatever so it's usually an l all the way around a lot more take on their side give on his side with very little in return we mm -hmm. all should be able to well, have a, a lot of these women once they've had one kid they're like oh i don't want to have any more kids they're like i'm done i had my kid i'm done I only wanted to have one kid. I don't want to have no more kids. But it's like, it's like, wait, but you want another man to come in and raise another man's kid. You want another man to come in and play and play another man's save game. And then the guy that's actually willing to step up and be commendable, as you would say, or, or brave, you're not even going to give him another kid? Like, come on. Stupid. Who are age appropriate to want to get with a woman who's already has a prefabricated family. It's tough. That's why I'm single. No, that's not why. That, that's part of the reason. But the things you just said are the main reason. Yeah. You're a modern woman. You, you're talking about goals and partnerships and this and that. 
That's not what these men want. No. They don't want to be respected? They want to be they respected and admired, but they don't want the stuff you're talking about. Building. No, 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 no. Ma'am, these men want cooperation. And you ladies come in and you already have a plan of how it's supposed to be. And it didn't work with your husband or your baby daddies. And it's not going to work now. Single moms. Okay, you you got to change the strategy. You know what I mean? If it's broke, fix it. You know, the, the opposite of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Well, ladies, it's broke. Fix it. <laughs> You've been doing the same thing over and over and over again. Expect this. It's also the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. Single mom is funny because as soon as people hear single mom, they immediately you know, make assumptions and count you out. But the whole time you're a boss doing way better than they could have ever imagined. And I mean that in the most humble way possible. It's, it's real interesting. You know what I started thinking about the other day that's so funny? I'm a mom. <laughs> like I have a child. That's only my responsibility. What's funny about that? I'm missing the joke here. Holy shit. You need help. Once you have a baby, you think that you're going to never be lonely because you have a little human with you pretty much all the time. But for some, it can be some of the loneliest times. So if you're feeling like you need to socialize, join a mom group, call your friends, call your family. They want to check in on you and know how you're doing. Yeah. At 25, what's dating like? Unfortunately, don't do it. It's scary out there. Tell me you've been ran without telling me you've been ran. She's a runner. She's a track star. <laughs> Why do you say that? I have a kid. Ooh. So That's my so last relationship funny. obviously hasn't been great, but I don't know. Do you think As having a kid and still out on them streets? Tell me more about your bop lore. Kid has hurt your chances of finding a partner. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, she's based last enough, person no. that he told me he wanted a relationship. But like a few months in, he was like, um, just kidding. Like, I'm not mature enough to mm. be with a woman that has That's a kid. always a good one to say you're not mature enough. You're not strong enough. That's always a good one. Use that one, gents. And how old was he? 26. Do you feel like he was mature enough? I thought. I don't know. But I wasn't asking him to, like, raise my child. Well, I just wanted him to date me, not my child. What were your expectations in the long term? Based Obviously, that. eventually you'd meet my daughter, but again, I she has a dad. Her dad is helping me raise her, not him. That's also the problem. Now I got to deal with this dude who I don't know who's this baby's dad. Like, it, dude, it's just it's so muddled up from the jump. This is why guys don't get into it. Mm -hmm. But if you moved in together, wouldn't he have to be more involved? I mean, yes. But also, doesn't everybody want their own kids? I mean, if someone really loved me, they wouldn't mind. So. I love it. Again, what about I date? love it. If someone really loved me, what is there to love? What is, look at him. He's tuckered out, man. He's tired. We wore him out today. What is there to love, honey? That love, that bond that we would get from you of maybe having our first child together... You've given the greatest honor to a man that wasn't even good enough to be your husband. Let's say he was good enough to be your husband. Now he's your ex-husband. He wasn't even good enough to stay your husband. So now you want us to come in, play another man's save game, raise this child like our own to maybe get a child in the future, and to get you with more trauma and mileage? It's a bad deal. It's like playing blackjack and hitting on 20. I'm not hitting on 20. I'm staying. It's as simple as that. It's just wild to me the delusion that a lot of these single moms have that they think that their value goes up as they get older and i think it's because as women experience life they get more entitled they get more experiences they get more mileage and therefore they think just because they're maturing maybe emotionally or financially that their value goes up when the opposite is true the older you get the older you get ladies and the more kids you have the lower the lower your standards should be lower your standards it's as simple as that. And guys, raise yours as you get older because <laughs> you have more options. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I know Loki did. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook in the description, The Four Pillars of Personality. It makes you irresistible to women and respected by men. But yeah, man, it was good to have you guys out, and I will see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.